boy. He sees something. He sees something. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, I'm catching little bits of rabbit on me. Ugh. This is just incredible. How amazing that he's able to get this whole thing in his mouth. This is Camp Kennedy. What's going on everyone, Kenan here, and today we're gonna do a little bit of a slinky feeding, and uh, we're gonna turn a sad thing into kind of a happier thing. And uh, what had happened was uh, someone was poaching marsh rabbits. So Fish and Wildlife went to bush with the confiscated uh, bodies of the rabbits after they had arrested the individual and confiscated those animals. They brought them to Bush because they didn't want the biomass to go to waste. So what Bush did was they couldn't feed off all of those rodents to, or rabbits rather, to their animals. So they offered me up a few of the marsh rabbits for some of my animals. And today we're gonna feed Slinky and we're gonna give him some whole prey and we're gonna let him use his mind and his weapons, his teeth and claws, to kind of rip up the rabbit that I have here. So what I'm gonna try and do is set this rabbit up and tie it up and allow him to kind of uh, attack it and go for it. Um, this way he's able to enrich himself and get a good feed. So very important you do this with your animals. You wanna make sure that they're, uh, in fact, let me just make sure this thing's going. All right, yeah, we got the GoPro going. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if Slinky Boy will find this stuff. So forgive me, I'm gonna put you guys right here. And uh, uh, there's no Kate with me right now, so unfortunately for everybody, we're gonna have to just watch me make a very horrible knot. Really wasn't a very good Boy Scout, to be perfectly honest. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing tied up here. And we're gonna basically just kinda stretch it up like this. And this way, the Slinkster will be able to mess with it. And uh, I'll go ahead and be rolling with the play-by-play, -play, right? So again, guys, we're doing this because we want to enrich Slinky. We want to get him some whole prey. And uh, we don't want to just give it to him. We want him to work for his food. And that's what we're going to do. So Slinks, I got something for you. Let's see. He can smell the rodents that, uh, I keep saying rodents, but he can smell the marsh rabbits that are in that bucket. So hopefully he'll come to see the ones, the one that is hanging right here. Now this is going to be a large meal for him. So uh, we kind of want to capture the whole thing and uh, see what Slinky does. Come on, Slinky, over here, bud. Maybe if I jiggle it, it'll get his attention. Come on, Slink. Look at this. Look at this. Oh boy, he sees something. He sees something. Let's just let him walk on over to it. So Slinky's been getting much bigger. He's a very healthy monitor. Uh, some of you may be wondering uh, if I'm worried about feeding a wild caught prey item, and I'm not. Um, you know, I've done this before. Um, it's, you know, listen, people eat rabbits. I'm sure they're fine for Slinky. Uh, they kept them in the freezer for about three months and they wanted to make sure if there were any mites or anything on them that those animals, those ectoparasites would be, uh, would be killed uh, in the freezer at Bush Wildlife. So here he comes and he knows something's up. He hasn't really freaked out, but he's never seen, I don't think he's ever seen a natural colored rabbit before. Usually everything I feed him is white or a fish. So let's see if he turns into our little version of a Komodo dragon here if he becomes a real proper Asian water monitor. Look at this, Slinks. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, there he goes, everybody. He's going for it. And I better get out of the way because, oh boy, there it is. Oh yes, yeah, Slinks. Now you're going to have to really get on that, buddy. Oh, oh no. Oh, well, that was quick. <laughs> I don't have very good knot tying skills, but let's see what he does with this marsh rabbit here my goodness amazing animal that slinky he is and i want him to shake and i want him to rip with his claws now monitors much like snakes can open their mouths oh he doesn't like me getting close to him can open their mouths very very wide so they can eat large amounts of prey items or larger prey items so this is definitely going to be the biggest thing that slinky has ever eaten I would love to see him use those claws and rip it apart if he could. 
gosh, he's such an amazing animal. And this is cool because, you know what, guys? Like I said at the top, we don't want to waste anything here. It's a shame that these animals were poached, um, but at least their biomass can be put to good use and feed some of the animals here. Look at this, guys. He's having no problem take down this rabbit. My gosh, look at how he just shakes. And you can see just how flexible the bottom jaw is on Slinky. Oh, what a good boy. I love this lizard, everybody. And he deserves this kind of food. Uh, it's got the fur. It's got bones. It's got all the stomach contents. It's a whole prey item. And it's very important. Now, obviously, the fur isn't going to be digested. It'll be uh, uh, excreted. Look at him trying to use the claws. It'll be excreted. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, I'm getting little bits of rabbit on me. Gah, that's not fun. Good grief, Slinks. Good grief. What are you going on, buddy? What's going on there? This is just amazing. Guapo and Lola want to see what's going on. He's almost got this thing down. Good grief, Slinky boy. Get that step stool out of the way. He is going to be one fat and happy lit. Will you guys relax? This is just incredible. How amazing that he's able to get this whole thing in his mouth. Working it down. Look at this, guys. This is incredible. Good boy, Slinky. Wow. Incredible job. That is the largest prey item that I've given him. Uh, you may remember the video where Robert Arrington came over and he had a hog leg. Well, this, this is the biggest prey item I've seen him swallow without tearing apart. Good job, Slinks. And there you have it, everybody. Slinky just downed an adult marsh rabbit. So that food will hold them for the week. I don't like to overfeed my monitors. You want to make sure that the monitors have that fold. You see this fold of skin? Now I don't want to be, I've got to be gentle when I touch them. But you see this fold of skin right here? You always want the monitors to have that. So when they eat a large item like he just ate, it allows his stomach the ability to stretch. Okay? So a healthy monitor lizard is always going to have this, except right after he's eaten. So that's what we want to do. Good boy, Slinky. You are an amazing animal. I'm hoping you like that food. Uh, and you could just see he's still swallowing. He's pushing it down. It's going into his stomach, and those incredible digestive enzymes and acids are going to get to work on that rabbit. So there you have Slinky eating a full prey item and he's still behaving he still has his table manners look at this still has his table manners he's not hurting me he's just looking for more food so i love this lizard we learned a little bit about feeding large monitors that animal is doing great lots of room for him to move i uh my only complaint guys is that i need to watch a few youtube videos on how to properly tie a uh, knot <laughs> i wanted him to really work for this but better luck next time, everybody. Uh, I think Slinky has got plenty of exercise. He's a good boy. And uh, I hope you enjoy these videos, okay? He's sniffing. God, we love you, Slinky. All right, everyone. There is Slinky Poo.
My favorite lizard, well, don't don't say that too loud because I don't want Guapo and Loda here. That it's not true. I, I love them all equally. They're my children. All right, Slinks, good job, buddy. I'll be seeing you later, pal. You want more, don't you? Hmm. What do you think, folks? Should Slinky get one more? I don't know. I think one's enough. Best to stop while we're ahead. All right, everyone. We'll be seeing you soon. Thanks so much. Like and subscribe if you enjoy learning about reptiles. Come on back. That's what we're all about. Fun times. Remember, education plus conservation equals infinity. Thanks, everybody. Amassed quite the amount of greens here. I went over to my local produce stand. It's a feeding day. So I thought you guys could come along with me and just wander the camp. 